Hi, it's Gwen Fox, and I'm glad you're here. But I have a question for you. Have you ever had death in the studio? And you're thinking, what? But I bet you have. I've had it many times. What is death in the studio? Well, here it is. You go into the studio and you are painting away. And you love what you're doing because it is turning out fantastic. Exactly like you wanted it. Then lunch comes. You go in, you have lunch, and you come back and you see it with fresh eyes and you say, mm, I need to change this and I need to do a little value change here and I need to do this and by three o'clock, guess what? The painting that was going so well doesn't even, even resemble what you had in mind. It's toast, it's not even toast, it's burnt toast. And it is a waste of a whole day and a lot of paint. Ever had that? Well, that is death in the studio. So what do you do? I mean, you know, you're going to come in the next day. You're going to pull out another piece of canvas or paper. And you're going to say, am I going to have the same problem today? Is it going to be a wasted day? Maybe I'm not geared for this. Maybe I'm not really an artist. Maybe I should be a hobby artist. And then that voice inside of you says, no, 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 you can't be a hobby artist. You want to be respected. You want to be recognized as a really good artist. Get back to work. But you don't want to because you're afraid. So what do you do? Well, I have an answer for you. And this is, this is what I want you to do. I want you to take out your cell phone and put it near your easel or where you're going to have your paper. Then I want you to, if you don't have a cell phone, you don't want to use that. I bet in the recesses of your kitchen, there is a timer. You know, that timer that you, it's so nostalgic that you didn't want to throw it away, but you never use it. You're going to use it now. Pull that baby out, put it, put it right there so you can use it. Then I want you to take out a piece of paper or a canvas, nothing valuable, nothing valuable. We don't want to have to worry about being, wasting something valuable. I want you to draw your design that you want to do today. Then I want you to lay out your colors, pick your brush, get your water ready if you're watercolors or acrylic, get your Gamsol ready if you're an oil painter, get everything ready. Then I want you to turn that timer or set that timer to 30 minutes, 30 minutes. Take a deep breath, push the button. You are painting like a frenzy because 30 minutes actually when it goes off is like five. And you're saying, what? The timer's off? And then you have to throw up your hands, kind of like chopped on, on the food channel. The chefs have to have to throw up their hands. It's time is up. And you look at this and you think, how is it? And then you also look at it and you probably are thinking, well, this is very fresh, has a nice feeling to it. I don't know. Let me tell you, I had a student in one of my workshops who could not who was very, very good, could not loosen up. And the workshops go from Monday to Friday. On Friday, we have a critique of our paintings, and they work on that final painting that Friday morning. Now, on Thursday, he was just about in tears because he had not had any success. And we did a timed painting. So on Friday morning, he announced, I'm going to do a time painting for my final piece, and I'm going to do it in 45 minutes. Full sheet watercolor paper. Go for it. Do it. Guess what? It was his best piece. He was thrilled. He couldn't believe it. He just couldn't believe it. But this is what happens. You don't have to work hard and long to get a good painting. You just have to 
be present. And sometimes short is better than long. So I hope this has helped. And I want to know from you who is going to take the challenge of doing a timed painting. Put it in the comments below because I want to know. And then once you do it, come back here and put what you, what you learned, what helped you. Because guess what? Your comments are going to help somebody else. And let's do this together. This is a learning thing. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Take care. Have a great week. And I love you. Talk to you next week. Bye.